Eric Becker, naturopath. Thanks for coming back. I'm from New Zealand. I'm a naturopath. A bit of fluff flying around there. And let's talk about omega-3 still. We're still on the topic. This time we're going to talk about omega-3 and the benefits for people who have infertility issues. So for a couple who can't get pregnant, for example. Let's read some stuff out. Omega-3 obtained through the diet, as well as by way of supplementation, has been shown to aid both women as well as men when it comes to improving chances of having a child. Both the woman's ovulation and egg quality improves in addition to the man's sperm count and health. <coughs> Excuse me. So the motility of the sperm improves, the quality improves, lots of things improve. <laughs> and when it comes to women, studies have shown that omega-3 can improve ovulation. EFAs, or essential fatty acids, are crucial, especially during the ovulation phase, as they promote the formation of healthy cervical mucus, as well as improving uterine blood flow. <clears throat> so progesterone levels also become more balanced. So that's one of the most important of all hormones, really, um, in pregnancy, in my opinion, is progesterone. Because it really allows for successful implantation and the maintenance of that pregnancy. Progesterone is an interesting hormone, and, and I discovered a while ago that the first medications for anxiety were based on the uh, molecule, the progesterone molecule. So progesterone is an amazing hormone that makes a woman feel really good. She looks great and she feels great when she's pregnant. She's got this big gut and yet she feels sexy as hell, you know, and that's progesterone. Progesterone also is a very powerful anti-inflammatory, so it reduces pain. And when you've got this big thing growing inside you and you're pulling your back all in weird angles and all that kind of stuff, it's going to hurt. And progesterone helps. But guess what? Omega-3 aids in the production of progesterone and in the transportation and utilization of how these hormones work. <coughs> so women with higher and more balanced progesterone levels tend to have better pregnancies, better outcomes, but also they feel happier uh, generally. Also postpartum seems to be improved with fish oil. So let's go further here. EFAs have shown to increase progesterone. And we talked about that. It was also discovered through the Earth Study, Environment and Reproductive Health Study, that women who use assisted reproductive technology, or we call IVF, and who supplemented with omega-3 fish oils have a significantly increased chance of live birth uh, with pregnancy. So you could also look at flaxseed oil, you know, being a, um, uh, a good source of alpha linoleic acid, which can convert to EPA and DHA, but not as well as fish oil. So that can also help. But I recommend women have small amounts of flaxseed oil in their diet, and particularly after when they're, when they're nursing or breastfeeding, it, it helps even, even more. When it comes to men, a study published in the Journal of American Medical Association um, in, involving 1,700 guys in, discovered that omega-3 fish oil was associated with high sperm counts, improved sex hormones, and larger testes, all associated with improved male fertility. So you can't go wrong. So how much would you take? Well, I'd probably take 3,000 milligrams a day, around about 3,000. So a capsule three times per day, both for men and women, uh, preconception. Watch what happens. I'm smiling. See you later.